Is it recording? Okay, it's recording. I still need to recover from another love over you. Hey guys, it's Ermina and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. And yes, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've kind of taken a hiatus, as you call it, as like a lot of people like to take. I'm sorry I'm outside right now. I just like the change of the environment and plus there's like no good lighting in my room. So I decided to come out here. So there's gonna be like plane sounds because I live near an airport. Not like an actual airport, it's like a what do you call it? A municipal airport? Whatever you guys call it, or whatever, however it's pronounced. If you know the correct pronunciation, then comments below. Yeah, anyway, I live near an airport, and there's like gonna be like a bunch of cars going by, so just ignore that. <coughs> Sorry, I have a itchy throat. But anyway, today's video is gonna be really simple. It's gonna be, it should be quick, but I'm gonna be doing a book haul of the books that I've gotten in the past month. So I've done a lot of book shopping because, well, first of all, I love books. And second of all, I'm preparing for an upcoming trip that I'm gonna be doing this summer. And yes, it is summer, obviously. I ended school last week on Friday. And technically it was supposed to end yesterday for us, but since it was finals week that week, we had like three half days. And then that yesterday was supposed to be a makeup day for people who maybe missed one or two of their finals. But I didn't miss any of it, so my last day was Friday. But anyway, yeah, I'm going on a trip. Ow, that's hot. Anyway, I'm going on a trip. I won't tell you guys until the end of the video. And I won't be doing a pack with me because I haven't even started packing yet. And, and I want to film a video that I can edit before and edit and publish before I go because I will not be taking my laptop, top, laptop with me to wherever I'm going. But I'll give you guys a couple details about it. So we're going to be staying there for 10 days and I'm going international, so that's gonna be even more exciting. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video where I'm going. Anyway, let's get into the book haul. Okay, so in total over the past month, I got about seven books, but three of the books are from the series. So the first three books are the Summer I Turned Pretty series. I'm sorry. This is a whole entire series. I already read the first one and it's so good. So basically it follows Belly Conklin who goes to Cousin Beach every summer and spends time with Susanna, who's basically like another mother of hers, and her sons Conrad and Jeremiah. So basically, it's kind of, it's a love triangle trope. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this. There's a series that came out on, on Amazon Prime Video. I have watched the series. I haven't finished it so far. I'm like, I have like three episodes left to watch, but it is so good. And what I like about the series is that it's not like a direct adaptation, like they added other plot lines in, which I really enjoyed. But I really love these books. Um, currently, I'm gonna read the second book next because I'm currently reading another book right now because I'm saving these two for... I'm planning to finish the second book before I leave for vacation and then the third book I wanna read on vacation. But these books are so, or the first one at least, it's so good. If you love like that swoony, cheesy, rom-com stuff then and it there's no spice in this so if you like all that stuff then i really recommend you read these books and it's also by the same author who wrote to all the boys i loved before by jenny it was by jenny han we used to love jenny han i love her so much anyway read these books please read read read, read them so the next book i got oh by the way, I got those first three books off Amazon and I got it for my birthday, which is even better because I turned 16. I'm 16 guys now. I'm not 15 anymore. Yay! Okay, anyway, the next book I got was from Barnes & Noble, The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. As you can see, there's kind of a little pattern here because there's mostly summer books. But basically, this follows Meredith Fox who lost her sister and she sets everyone out but she's like kind of like determined to get back into the world again so she takes her annual family vacation to martha's vineyard i'm literally reading the summary and just like paraphrasing it because i have not read this and her entire family is gathering there for a wedding and she is excited to participate in the traditional fox game of assassin i know i but i'm trying to paraphrase that as best as i can and then she forms an alliance with a cute groomsman. 
and she finds herself getting distracted. Meredith tries to focus on the game of running away from her sister, but she can't help on her. So it's, it's it looks like a spooky summer romance. I've heard it's it's YA. There's no spice. I love that's why I love YA books. I'm not really a big fan of like reading spicy stuff, but. This is a cute swimming romance for like when you want to go to the beach or and these are mostly summer books. I mean they're not all like summer but I feel like the rest of the books I'm going to put here you can like read at any time of year but the first four books are summer so yeah that's Summer Broken Rules. Alright so the next book I got was also from Barnes & Noble. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. I haven't read too much of the summary I just really found the cover cute to be honest which is like it's like simple, but it's like, you know, it's cute. So anyway, so I'm just going to literally read the summary again because I have no idea what it's about. So Samantha McAllister looks like just the rest of the popular girls in her class, but behind her looks and everything, she has OCD. So basically, she's a girl with OCD and is consumed with a stream of dark thoughts and worries that she can't turn off. So basically, she's second-guessing every move, thought, which makes daily life a struggle and isn't help for lifelong friends. Will turn toxic at the first sight of a wrong outfit, wrong lunch, or wrong crush. So basically, she's like trying to make the right decisions here, but like she can't help it because she's afraid her friends will judge her. Um, so she meets Caroline and she has to keep her new friend with her. Um, she has to keep her new friend a secret with right up there with her weekly visit to her psychiatrist. So basically she doesn't want anyone to know what she's going through. But I honestly, I don't really know what this book is about. It just looks super cute. And I feel like there's a lot of trigger warnings in this book. So I'm gonna look them up before I start reading this. But this is one of the books that I'll be bringing with me on vacation, obviously. But yeah, this looks super cute. And that's every last word for you guys. The next book I got was from Amazon and it's Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Now this made me really pissed because the book pages are a lot shorter or like, you know, like how it goes this way. It's like a lot shorter than like all the other books that I got here. So I literally have to like push it back out so it's like a thing all the books on the bookshelf. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear that. There's a plane going over my house right now. But anyway, this is Love and Other Words. This is the recent new book cover that came out. The previous book cover was like orange with like paper hearts all over it. This one's like, if you guys have read that on Honeymooners, which I still haven't read yet, but it kind of reminds me of that on Honeymooners um, um, cover. But anyway, they're both by Christina Lauren, and I literally just figured out that Christina Lauren is two people and not one. Never realized that. But anyway, this is about a girl named Macy Sorensen and Elliot Petropolis, who have been like childhood friends, so basically this is like the childhood friends to lovers trope. And basically it's about their growing story from alternating timelines. Basically they grow from friends to much more, spending weekends and lazy summers in their house outside San Francisco. And then as adults, they become strangers to one another until their chance reunion. And they will come to understand the truth behind their decade long silence and will overcome the past of himself and himself to achieve her faith in the possibility of an all consuming love. This seems super adorable and I feel like it's like one of those books that you can like read like all year round. I feel like it's just a summer book. I feel like it's like an all year round book you can read in the fall, winter, spring, summer, whatever. But anyway, that's love in other words for you guys. And then here's the last book which I also got from Amazon. Oh, ew, there's a book on it. That's disgusting. Anyway, it's Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I love, I love Emily Henry. I have read both Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation and loved both of them. So I literally just have to get Book Lovers because I saw it right here. Well, I actually saw it in Barnes & Noble, but then I figured I'd get it off Amazon instead. So this is Book Lovers. It basically follows Nora Stevens, who is basically a book lover, essentially. Um, I'm just gonna read the summary off here. Okay, so basically Nora is a heroine for 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 our her clients. For whom she lends enormous deals as a cutthroat literary agent and her beloved little sister Lily Libby. Which is why she agrees to go to Sunshine Falls, North Carolina for the month of August when Libby 
begs her first sister to strip away, and then she needs to become the heroine in her own story. But instead of picnics and meadows or run-ins with handsome country doctor or bulging forum to bartender, Nora keeps walking into Charlie, Charlie Lastra, who's basically also a book lover, which is why it's called Book Lovers. I'm sorry. I literally don't know anything about these books. I literally bought it because of the authors. I literally bought this because of Emily Henry because I think Emily Henry is one of my favorite authors, so I literally just had to get this book. And then I'm just gonna read the end. If Nora knows that she's not an ideal heroine, Charlie knows he's nobody's hero. And as they're thrown in together again and again in a series of coincidences, no editor worth their salt would allow, what they discover might just unravel the carefully crafted stories they've written about themselves. Sounds super adorable. Sounds super cute rom-com. Which is why I love Emily Henry's books. Anyway, I think you guys should really pick this up and start reading it. Anyway, the moment you guys have been waiting for, I will be announcing right now where I'm going on vacation. I'm going for 10 And if you guys don't remember the hints, I am going there for 10 days and I will be going internationally. So, I'm gonna have a little drum roll. Now it's a good time for a drum roll. I'm gonna wait till my truck passes by. Drum roll, everyone. I'm going to Italy. That's right, I'm going to be going to Italy for summer vacation. So currently today is Wednesday and I'm going to be going to Connecticut, not Connecticut, New York on Saturday afternoon. And I'll be staying at my cousin's house. And then Sunday is my flight. And we're gonna be staying in Italy for 10 days if you guys want more details, more specifically, I'm going to Milan for two days. I'm going to Interlaken, which is in Switzerland, for two days. I'm going to Lake Como for two days. And then the rest of the time I'm going to spend in Milan. And then we're going to come back home and maybe, maybe a day trip in Venice if we have time. So that's what the whole just for vacation is about. I'm super excited. I, like I said, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not filming a pack with me because I really haven't been packing yet and plus I'm probably going to be done packing by the time I have to leave, obviously. And I want time to, you know, I want time to like edit this video because then again I'm not taking my laptop with me to Italy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, it feels so good to come back onto YouTube. I'm not sure how to edit this because I for literally forgot how to edit but i will get through it and thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos like this then comment down below and i will give you more updates on books and if you want more updates on books throughout like the time i'm not making videos then go follow my goodreads i'll link it down below and there i post updates on books i'm currently reading and books that i have read and reviews and that kind of stuff so you can check that out. Also go follow me on my other socials and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video and comment down below, leave if you get it this far. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be out of the country. Bye.